This is the DIY Audio Guy YouTube channel, and something's gone horribly wrong. Give this a listen. If you've been watching my channel, you know that I've been experimenting with passive radiators. And as you just heard, something's gone wrong with my experiment. When I first hooked this up, I was thrilled. This was some of the loudest and cleanest bass I'd ever had in my truck before. So I've been riding around for several weeks now, really enjoying my new subwoofer enclosure. This test box was doing a fantastic job. I was riding down the road, enjoying the music, and I started hearing this terrible mechanical sound. It sounded like something vibrating or flopping around. My first thought was that I had an air leak, that I didn't have a good seal around one of the passive radiators or the active driver. I checked all that, everything was sealed up good. I even put some extra gasket down to make sure I had a good seal and the sound was still there. And I could tell from playing it that it was only one of the passive radiators that was making this sound, the one that's on the farthest end from the active driver. So I got to looking at it real close and I found something wrong with it. Let's spin the camera around, put it on a tripod and I'll show you what I found right here and it's not just there some of these other pieces are a little bit wobbly too this piece right here this gasket is coming apart and that is a problem because this passive radiator was a closeout from Parts Express and they are all gone. You cannot get another one. So my only choice at this point is to try to fix it. So I'm going to grab some CA glue and see what I can do. If this doesn't work, it's back to the drawing board. I've got to get a different set of passive radiators and give this another try. Let's go ahead and hit it with some activator so the glue will dry a little bit faster. I think it'll be easier to get this part right here if I put it up on its side. Once again, a little bit of CA glue, hit it with some activator. Then we're going to let it sit for a few hours, try to be patient and wait for it to set up. We'll throw it back in the truck and give it a test bump and see how it does. Let's do that right now. Here comes that test bump. Fingers crossed, everybody. Let's hope it works. Well, the sound is still there, so that wasn't the problem, which means something else is wrong. I think that this particular passive radiator is coming apart I'm putting all the videos for this build into a playlist that I'm gonna put right up here on the screen for you. Make sure you click on that playlist so you can watch all the videos and make sure you hit the subscribe button right here so you can catch the next update. I'm the DIY Audio Guy and I'll see you on the next adventure.